personally, I find you can get a lot more than purely the visual, the more we start to ask questions about um, when was this made, where was it made, uh, why, why was somebody or a group of people inspired to make this, what purpose did this work originally serve. So the biography of an artist, um, particularly in the modern era where we know quite a bit about our artists, um, is always useful to understand. Um, let me see, so if we take, for instance, this little woodcut print here, um, the subject would appear to be quite simple. It's a, um, a large tree with a very flat landscape and indication of water behind and some sky. Um, now we know that this is a Hirschfeld Mac woodcut and we know it was produced at Karaya Bay in Geelong. Um, we know what it's a view of. But without knowing anything about the artist, we might say, hmm, uh, the view of a tree in Karaya Bay, what's so exciting about that? When we understand that this is the only artist from the Weimar Bauhaus, which is largely considered to be the most important um, school uh, of, of modern art, then the work takes on a different significance. We can see the connections in his technique to those early German expressionist De Bruck um, uh, woodcut prints. So woodcut was a very important medium for early German um, uh, expressionist art. Um, there was something about the, the sort of vigour and rawness and crudeness that the artists particularly valued um, because it enabled them to sort of convey more expression and emotion than say a very detailed little copper plate engraving for instance. Looking at something and thinking, can, can this object in front of me mean something other than what it appears to be? Um, and one of the sort of key, icon, uh, key art historical methodologies, you might say, is iconography, which is about reading um, the image um, in terms of different signs that have a a literary textual meaning, so graphy is writing, icon is the, the sort of emblem or, or sign that we're looking at. But with modernist art, symbolism tends to be a lot more personal and artists would develop their own personal lexicon of symbols that they'll use over and over. My advice for anyone who goes to an exhibition without knowing much about what it is they're encountering is trust your own vision, trust your own instinctive sense as to what a work might be. Don't be afraid to feel lost or confused. I think reserve judgment if you can. So it's very easy just to glance and say, oh, I don't understand it, I don't like it, move on. Reserve judgment and look slowly. Um, so really slow looking repays the effort. Um, spending 10 minutes in front of one work will bring forth all sorts of details that you might not have noticed. Even with a blank canvas, um, it might be a, an, an all over one color black canvas or blue canvas or whatever. Looking at it slowly, you'll start to see variations in shade. You'll start to see brush strokes you'll um, begin to have different perceptions that might not be visible on a, a brief. So there's no right or wrong when it, comes, when it comes to looking to art. It really, I always think a, a work of art is just asking for us to engage with it. It's asking us to have a conversation with it.